Chapter 10, Cardiac Arrest. Welcome to the lesson on recognizing cardiac arrest. In this video, we'll discuss recognizing cardiac arrest and reversible causes of cardiac arrest. Unlike cardiac arrest in adults, which is very common due to acute coronary syndrome, cardiac arrests in pediatrics is more commonly the consequence of respiratory failure or shock. Thus, cardiac arrest can often be avoided if respiratory failure or shock is successfully managed. Less than 10% of the time, cardiac arrest is the consequence of ventricular arrhythmia and occurs suddenly. It may be possible to identify a reversible cause of cardiac arrest and treat it quickly. The reversible causes are essentially the same in children and in infants as they are in adults. The reversible causes of cardiac arrests are divided into the H's and the T's. The H's include hypovolemia, hypoxia, H plus acidosis, hypo and hyperkalemia, hypoglycemia, and hypothermia. The T's include tension pneumothorax, tamponade, toxins, coronary thrombosis, pulmonary thrombosis, and unrecognized trauma. Recognizing cardiopulmonary failure can be done by following the ABCDE survey, which checks for airway, breathing, circulation, disability, and exposure. For further details on these factors, refer to Table 22 in your corresponding PALS manual. It's also helpful to be able to recognize arrest rhythms such as asystole, pulseless electrical activity, or PEA, ventricular fibrillation, or VF, and pulseless ventricular tachycardia, or VT. The upcoming videos will cover details on these arrest rhythms. This concludes our lesson on recognizing cardiac arrest. Next, we'll preview pulseless electrical activity and asystole.